Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Andreas Aust, CTO of Tixel, and uh, together with Jörg Kuppert from uh, CubeTech, we will have this uh, joint presentation about a globally accessible film space media QC and uh, repair service. So what can you expect? We will give a short introduction uh, about file transfer and quality control in the media introduction and uh, what CubeTech and uh, Tixel have been done in that area so far. Then we will have a very brief overview uh, about FIMS and we will finish with a, a conclusion about our project and how FIMS is related to that. So first a little background. CubeTech and uh, Tixel have been FIMS members since the early days and both companies offer uh, complementary solutions and services and we are uh, close located uh, both in uh, northern Germany and we think that uh, combined efforts will provide solutions with a great added value for customers. So current status quo is CubeTech actually has a management and orchestration system plus an MSF QC component, while Tixel provides uh, file transfer applications and one acceleration gateways. And uh, both of our software solutions already uh, are based on a service-oriented uh, design. So that is a, a core concept uh, of FIMS, which is um, allowing us to easily integrate our components. But there are currently um, some issues with the solutions that we both offer. From a global customer base, it's uh, currently very inefficient for a Cubetex QC service to be accessed efficiently over wide area uh, networks. And uh, Tixel offers acceleration uh, components, but we don't have a uh, fully integrated management and orchestration system. So the obvious um, solution is to combine the efforts of uh, Tixel and Cubetex and uh, the goal is to provide a solution with a minimum user workflow disruption. So here is a high level overview of uh, what we are going to do. We will have a central service that uh, should be accessible from uh, end users um, from all over the world. And uh, uh, the goal is to um, um, have an accelerated uh, file uh, transport uh, solution so that end user PCs can uh, upload large files uh, without being slowed down by <coughs> standard mm -hmm. transfer tools. A more detailed um, overview of how the actual um, implementation of our solution looks like is here. We have an uh, end user PC with a web browser and uh, file acceleration uh, tool provided by Tixel. In the back end, we have the uh, workflow orchestration uh, from uh, CubeTech with a typical <coughs> web uh, UI and the acceleration um, uh, server side endpoint, a file server, and the actual QC component, the MXF legal library. So what is the, the actual benefit of uh, combining uh, this solution? With uh, that approach, we will be able to offer cloud-based media QC and uh, repair services for evaluation purposes. And of course, for uh, future on-premise uh, solutions, uh, we can uh, provide uh, yeah, certified software packages so that uh, globally operating organizations can use them for their purposes. So what does um, Tixel do actually in that area? You probably all are aware of the uh, typical massive uh, data problem. Uh, that's not only uh, a problem in the media industry, but anywhere. For example, if you have uh, 30 minutes of content, it can be uh, represented by two gigabytes on your uh, storage system, uh, but also represented by two terabytes on your storage system, depending on the format that you are using. 
This of course becomes a problem if you have a globally distributed workflow and uh, standard file transfer solutions uh, can be a huge bottleneck when you want to transfer files over large distances. That is depicted here. So typically a uh, file transfer is uh, um, part of different uh, process steps within a media workflow and of course it will uh, end up in a significant bottleneck if the file transfer between different processes is very slow. So by accelerating the actual uh, transfer of files, the uh, efficiency of the entire workflow and the process can of course be uh, optimized a lot. Okay, so what does it have to do with FIMS? Uh, more details on that will, uh, will be uh, presented by uh, Jörg, but uh, to make it brief for uh, file transfer, there is a standardized interface defined in FIMS, so it will be uh, very easy to replace, for example, a standard FTP-based uh, transfer solution with uh, a tick stream based transfer that uh, allows an accelerated transfer in wide area networks without having to change the, uh, the actual uh, workflow system. So now I will hand over to Jörg, okay. who will continue with the presentation. So, let's look what we can see, uh, say about FIMS. So the basic idea from, from FIMS is <coughs> that we want to solve the issue of tightly coupled systems. That means uh, that you build uh, uh, functions that uh, connect to each other and are hard to, to, to change because they have uh, interconnection to all the others and relation to all the others. So, So I'd like to, to talk about uh, uh, FIMS and uh, what is the basic issue with uh, tightly coupled systems as we have it today. Uh, the traditional systems has interconnections between all the functions and that make it hard to change a single component without influence the whole system, increasing the cost uh, uh, by changing. So the idea is to, to replace uh, a system, change that make it easier to, to change parts uh, and have something like uh, a kit, a toolkit that, uh, that is able to interconnect. So if you see SOA before, uh, tightly coupled, after you have a media orchestration bus uh, where you have a straight interface to the media services and that is exactly what FIMS try to solve with that uh, FIMS initiative. So, so our systems are <coughs> uh, not developed for the media industry. They are main, mainly used within the industry very widely. But media has different uh, needs in, uh, for, for services. Uh, and so the FIMS uh, SOA framework uh, oriented uh, directly what is the media needs. So <coughs> it's worked more on the business level uh, than on a technical level. It specifies interfaces uh, to services. Uh, it supports, has a huge support across the industry. So uh, from the vendors to the system integrators to the users, the end users, broadcasters, there's a huge support over, over the years. Uh, and the most important thing, uh, FIMS understand media. That means that uh, the high bandwidth need uh, with media, the need of long running uh, processes, uh, the need of special formats used in the, uh, in the broadcast industry, in the media industry, uh, and all the support for me metadata is uh, available in a standardized way. So, important here is to, to see that, uh, that FIMS in the area of QC uh, is, is a great standard to, to help uh, to make 
uh, software-oriented architectures, but it needs some, some support uh, how to define that measures. Uh, For that, the FIMS group works together with the EBU QC group. Uh, in the EBU QC group, the uh, measures will be uh, done, while the FIMS is, uh, is the, uh, the standardization body to bring the interfaces together. And so, uh, the FIMS QA is a cooperation between the two standardization groups. So, what is uh, the role of CubeTech within that uh, business? We have an orchestration system called Kubeflows uh, that has a BPMN, a standardized orchestrator uh, that allow us to graphically uh, generate the uh, orchestration workflow. Uh, and here we use the FIMS services to control separate uh, services as a part. So the FIMS capture, transform, transfer service and now also the QA service. On the other side, uh, that is a layered approach. Uh, all the cube flows can be controlled itself via a FIMS media transform service so that, uh, that the interface is very flexible and allow uh, us to be easily integrated in existing MUM and enterprise MUM systems. So the issue we want to solve is that we not only do QC, we want to solve directly the repair of files uh, and that is the reason we developed the MXF legalizer. <coughs> so the secure delivery of MXF files with exact defined constraints conforming to exact the client's demand. That is what uh, we should receive out of a FIMS uh, quality service. So with the standardizing of that uh, interface and the measures, uh, we have no longer proprietary uh, QC technology and I think we have a good chance to get an industry uh, solution that is uh, much better usable. For users that don't have a huge demand to have uh, a system in-house, an, an online system is very good, good strategy where we can use a pay per use cost model so we have no large uh, pre-investment uh, and if the files can be uh, uploaded and downloaded quick enough uh, that is a big bit uh, added value and with a FIM service you have no longer any uh, vendor lock-in. So, we see MXF legalizer service as a remote quality control and repair service for uh, media factories uh, in the future. I hand over again to Andreas for the ending up. Thank you, Jörg. So now we will continue with um, what we have done in the uh, um, actual implementation of the um, global uh, accessible FIMS-based QC service. Um, currently, we are in the in between uh, two uh, phases where we would like to refine refine the actually implemented draft API and uh, map it to the uh, FIMS service API. So first of all, we will give a short demonstration on how the MXF legalizer service is integrated with the TextGym Express uh, acceleration, accelerated file transfer tool. And uh, the, uh, the uh, status <coughs> currently is um, that it is already integrated. We can uh, exchange uh, job metadata and uh, the wiring between uh, the web browser via the job metadata with the transfer app has been done. So here we see the uh, web UI of the uh, legalizer application. And uh, what you typically would like to do is to upload a, a file. So you have a button over there, you click it, you get the uh, job metadata um, via the web app, which uh, launches the Tixel application um, 
directly right of the, out of the browser mm -hmm. and uh, you select a file and you upload it mm -hmm. and the uh, legalizer starts in the backend to process the files then you can do as end user some uh, checking on the output and if you're happy you can click the download button the Tixel application pops up has already the uh, selected file in the file list you start the download and there you are So we already did uh, some field tests uh, with this um, integrated solutions and uh, we got very uh, valuable end user uh, feedback. Mm -hmm. What we figured out that the uh, users of the um, service mm -hmm. have a large variety of uh, internet connectivity ranging from 20 up to 500 megabit per second mm -hmm. and the network characteristics of course uh, differ uh, significantly among those users and uh, we were finally able to optimize all the parameterizations to, um, to get a acceleration for uh, transatlantic transfer transfers <coughs> by a factor of up to 60. So with um, the actual FIMS and uh, SOA aspects we also uh, discovered some uh, other interesting um, 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 issues with the uh, integration of uh, both of our solutions. The, um, the actual point is that we uh, were able to um, yeah, integrate uh, two different uh, end-user applications um, where the end user actually doesn't really uh, recognize that is uh, the actual workflow consists of two applications so it's a very non-disruptive uh, experience um, but the actual uh, interesting part here is that uh, in contrast to um, to a typical other uh, service oriented architecture based um, setups the where the um, all the components might reside in uh, inside one large organization. We have basically uh, split up the system in a um, server-side um, based part and a remotely located end user. So the actual uh, job description parameters are created on two sides, one on the server side and one on the second part on the uh, client side. So by that we are able to um, to cover a typical B2B uh, data exchange uh, uh, scenario and uh, yeah, the end user actually uh, can stay within his familiar uh, workflow web application and doesn't actually um, yeah, get to know that he's using a different uh, tool to actually do the file transfer. What does it mean for uh, the FIMS uh, specified uh, job lifecycle? Actually, we have to uh, carefully manage the responsibilities for the transfer job control um, between the server, means the backend, and the client side. So the FIMS uh, specified um, actions like cancel, pause, or uh, stop transfer jobs are basically distributed between the server and the client side. Further, we have to uh, optimize um, the handling of long-running resource-intensive uh, jobs so in order to efficiently use multi-user cloud platforms and uh, also efficiently manage uh, the precious resources like bandwidth, CPU and storage. And of course we need to avoid unnecessary data transfers. So we uh, will be able to uh, notify uh, clients as soon as possible to cancel a job if, for example, corrupt or incompatible data has been started to transfer. 
and in order to uh, to only retransmit uh, missing or broken pieces of the file, uh, we need to uh, yeah, implement a sort of chunk-based uh, checksum approach so that we further be able to reduce the amount of data that is necessary to transfer. Yeah, by these um, means we will be able to increase the overall efficiency of a multi-user um, cloud environment. Okay, to summarize. Applying a FIMS or SOA-based um, paradigm to uh, integrate Cubetex and uh, Tixel's uh, component uh, has several benefits. First of all, uh, the common understanding of the API will certainly uh, result in an uh, easy communication on the technical side. And of course, the uh, resulting flexibi flexibility by providing a service-based um, integration uh, adds a lot of uh, value for the customer. And that's finally it. Uh, if you want to learn more, feel free to ask questions or uh, visit the websites. And of course, even better, just come to our booths. Thank you very much.